possibly the most famous child star of all time, the man behind Cat Scratch Fever, one of the most celebrated writers of the 20th century. Fame may come up at a young age, but for these stars, parenthood came sooner. NBA All-Star LeBron James grew up fast. By high school graduation, the standout athlete had already graced the cover of Sports Illustrated, and during his rookie year in the pros, he found out he was going to be a father. James's girlfriend, Savannah Brinson, was a senior in high school when she got pregnant. In a 2010 interview with Harper's Bazaar, she recalled that pivotal moment in their teenage lives. She said, I was thinking, what am I going to tell my parents? What's going to happen to his career? I was very scared. I was bawling. But he said, it's not going to slow me down, and it's not going to slow you down. We're going to keep doing what we have to do. LeBron James Jr. was born in 2004, Bryce Maximus James followed in 2007, and daughter Zuri James arrived in 2014. James and Brinson wed in 2013. Being an MVP to his children is important to LeBron, who has talked openly about his struggles growing up in a single-parent home. He launched the LeBron James Family Foundation and works with the Boys and Girls Clubs of America in an effort to connect kids with positive role models and ultimately provide them with a college education if they meet the criteria, which is just to simply graduate high school. Yeah. If our kids can get from the third grade and graduate through high school, then there's a college scholarship waiting on them. American Idol winner Fantasia Barrino, now known as Fantasia Taylor, endured some incredibly dark times prior to fame. At age 14, she was reportedly raped at her high school and taunted by some classmates about the attack. She told VH1's Behind the Music, I didn't even cry my way home. I was numb, very numb, confused. I just felt nasty, disgusting. She entered a rebellious stage after her ordeal, partying hard to hide the pain. This partying led to an unexpected pregnancy. The future star was just 17 when she realized she was carrying Brandel Show's baby. She said, He was somebody I was crazy about, the first guy who showed me attention. They brought their daughter Zion into the world together, but their relationship later disintegrated. Life after American Idol has been a roller coaster for the star. Appearing on the show reportedly kickstarted a cycle of depression that led to an attempted suicide in 2010, but she thankfully managed to work through this mental health struggle. The following year, Barina welcomed her second child, Dallas Xavier, into the world. She married Kendall Taylor in 2015 and has made it her mission to help other struggling young mothers and women find happiness like she has. She told Essence, Love is there. It's out there. And there's somebody for everybody. Speaking with the Tot, supermodel Natalia Vodianova spoke of growing up in Nizhny Novgorod, Russia, a city that has a rich cultural heritage but is encircled by what she called very poor and dangerous suburbs. As such, the proud mom revealed that her childhood was a million miles away from the life her kids live today. She said, My sister Oksana has cerebral palsy, and for my mother, looking after her was very difficult. My father left when I was little. It was a very tough upbringing. However, watching her mother struggle didn't deter Vodianova from starting her own family at a young age. She said, I was only 19 when I gave birth to Lucas, my firstborn. His birth was an intense but very beautiful experience. The supermodel declined an epidural, insisting that the birth be a natural one, believing it would help strengthen herself as a new mother. She has since adjusted that way of thinking. She said, I never went back to that mother nature style again, but I was so happy that I got to experience what it was like for women centuries ago. Vodianova now has five children. Lucas was followed by Neva, Victor, Maxim, and Roman, who gave the family quite a scare when he arrived in 2016. She told the Tot, I had placenta detachment three months into pregnancy and had to lay down for a month and a half to keep Roman healthy. Whoopi Goldberg was a 17-year-old in rehab when her counselor Alvin Martin got her pregnant. She told the Daily Mail, Marrying seemed like a good idea at the time. The marriage didn't last long, so Goldberg moved with baby Alexandria to California to scratch out a living as an aspiring actor. After eight years of what she described as living on the edge, existing on welfare, Goldberg began landing serious roles, including an Oscar-nominated lead in Steven Spielberg's The Color Purple and her Oscar-winning turn in Ghost. He's stuck, that's what it is. He's in between worlds. Like her mother, Alexandria Martin became an actor, producer, and a young mom. According to the Daily Mail, she was only 14 when she gave birth to a daughter named Amara Skye. Now that Goldberg's grandchildren are getting older, she has joked that she's hitting the brakes. She said in 2009, I accepted the grandmother thing in my 30s, but great-grandchildren I'm not doing. Of course, Goldberg became the proud great-grandmother of Charlie Rose in 2014. Former NBA and reality TV star Lamar Odom was only just coming to the end of his teenage years when he found out that his girlfriend was pregnant. According to the Daily Mail, his daughter Destiny was born in 1998, the year before he was drafted by the Los Angeles Clippers. Odom and his partner, Liza Morales, welcomed their second child, Lamar Jr., into the family in 2002. Their third child, Jaden, came in late 2005. 
Tragically, Jaden succumbed to sudden infant death syndrome at six months old. Odom turned to cocaine to help dull the pain of his trauma. By the time he met and married Khloe Kardashian in 2009, he developed a strong addiction to the drug. However, he managed to keep it a secret for a while. Yeah. Well, you marry, you don't want your wife to know that you're sniffing coke. Man. In 2015, the basketball great suffered kidney failure, along with a series of strokes and heart attacks, during a near-fatal overdose in Crystal, Nevada. This was the event that ultimately set him on a path of redemption. Though Odom and Kardashian divorced in 2016, he was able to complete rehab and stay sober. Speaking to the Players' Tribune, he credited his children, Destiny and Lamar Jr., with giving him a reason to beat his addiction. He said, I'm sober now, but it's an everyday struggle. I have an addiction. I'll always have an addiction. It never goes away. I mean, I want to get high right now, but I know that I can't if I want to be here for my children. Supermodel Nikki Taylor was still a teenager when she gave birth for the first time, welcoming twin boys Hunter and Jake at the age of 19. She told Hello Magazine, I always wanted a family and wanted to have kids early. I love being a kid, and I love my kids. They are everything. Things didn't work out with the twins' father, former football player Matt Martinez, but Taylor has continued to expand her brood. In 2006, she wed NASCAR driver Bernie Lamar. She told Us Weekly, I looked at Bernie and said to myself, this is the guy I'm going to marry. They have two kids of their own together. Son Rex and daughter Seal appear to be close to their older brothers. Some of those kiddos are already following in their mother's footsteps. Hunter has walked the runway at Men's Fashion Week in New York, and Seal took part in her first photo shoot by age seven. Taylor told the New York Post, she definitely would love to model. I didn't teach her, she just automatically is good. We did a shoot together a while back for Russian Allure, and she loved it. Shirley Temple rose to fame during the height of the Depression, becoming a welcome escape for the millions of Americans struggling to make ends meet. As a child star, she was Hollywood's biggest draw in the late 30s. President Franklin D. Roosevelt declared at the time, "'As long as our country has Shirley Temple, we will be all right. It is a splendid thing that for just 15 cents, an American can go to a movie and look at the smiling face of a baby and forget his troubles.'" "'Do you know something?' "'What?' "'I didn't think I was going to like you at first, huh? but I like you now.'" Better times lay ahead for the United States, but Temple had already peaked. It seems audiences wanted to see the cherub-faced child, so when the actor started to grow up, her opportunities diminished. At age 17, she said yes to a marriage proposal from soldier-turned-actor John Agar. They gave birth to a daughter named Susan before separating after about four years of marriage. Temple later gave birth to a son named Charles Jr. with her second husband and true soulmate, former naval officer Charles Black. Temple and Black remained married until his death in 2005. Temple passed away in 2014 at age 85. Her daughter Susan told Closer Weekly, "'As a mother, she was devoted and generous, although she could be a little bit stern if we didn't behave. But family was a really, really important part of her life. She was all about her children and her husband. Before she ever owned a guitar, Loretta Lynn was a struggling teen housewife who had left home and given birth to the first of her six children at age 16. She took to Instagram in 2021 and explained how she's always loved being a mom more than anything. She added, "'Sometimes it seemed like we were raising each other as young as I was.'" Her eldest, Betty Sue, was a songwriter who tragically died in 2013 due to complications from emphysema. Recalling those early years, the Kentucky singer added that Betty Sue was, quote, "'More than a daughter, she was a best friend, thanks to their close age difference.'" In the same Instagram post, she wrote, "'She's been gone for nine years, and it feels like I haven't seen her or heard her voice in forever. How I'd love to sit down with her to talk a while, laugh, and sing together just one more time.'" While Betty Sue was 64 when she died, Lynn was understandably still struck down by grief. She stated, "'Young or old, no parent should ever have to bury a child.'" The Hanson brothers became overnight celebrities with their hit Mbop in 1997, when middle brother Taylor Hanson was only 14. You just were kind of goofing around and you realized that you could harmonize together, is that right? It was very much a part of us. Our parents were both musicals, so we got it from them. And the musician didn't just achieve fame at a young age, he also became a father in 2002, when he was 19 and his new wife, Natalie Hanson, was 18. As MTV News reported, baby Jordan Ezra came into the world on October 31st of that year, five months after the couple's wedding. Taylor told reporters at the time, "'We are so excited to start a family. Having Ezra is the best thing we've ever done. Life and art are all about these moments.'" He also insisted that welcoming a kid had altered his outlook. He told People a year later, "'Having a baby is a life changer. It gives you a whole other perspective on why you wake up every day.'" Joking about how different he felt from his brothers, Isaac and Zach Hansen, he told the outlet, "'They're awesome as uncles, but they haven't changed many diapers.'" 
According to People, Taylor and Natalie now have a clan of seven kids. Jordan Ezra was joined by Penelope, River, Vigo, Wilhelmina, Indiana, and Maybelline. He explained to the outlet in 2022, The job of being a dad is to sacrifice everything you want for that kid. I may be in the middle of meeting some famous musician, but sorry, I've got to call my daughter and talk to her about her day. Anna Nicole Smith was only 18 when she had a child with her first husband. Born in Texas, the model had been kicked out from her home near Houston at age 15 and moved in with her aunt in a small town called Mejia. Joe McLemore, her childhood friend, later told ABC News, "...when she went to school here in Mejia, she was miserable. She was having a hard time with being bullied." The future star subsequently dropped out of school and spent her time hanging around Jim's Crispy Fried Chicken, where she met the fry cook Billy Smith. The pair started dating and soon married. McLemore said, "...Billy was also a high school dropout. They were so young. He was 16. She was 17. Smith had her first child, Daniel, at 18. When Anna later became a Playboy model, she made headlines by controversially marrying 89-year-old business tycoon J. Howard Marshall, making him Daniel's stepfather." Anne told Larry King in 2002, "...I loved him for so much what he has he had did for me and my son. I mean, I just loved him so I've never had love like that before." Tragically, her son met an early death when he overdosed at age 20 in 2006. A memorial was held for Daniel and Mejia by Anna, his biological father Billy, and his extended family. Anna was understandably tormented by the loss of her son and died of an accidental prescription drug overdose less than a year later. Rod Stewart lived up to his rock star reputation by having eight kids over the span of 47 years, creating a dramatic age gap between his youngest and eldest children. Stewart told People in 2021, "...I have to be several different fathers because of the different age groups of my kids. You really have to treat all of them as individuals with individual problems." He also reflected on how his priorities had changed since he first became a father, telling the outlet, "...what makes me happiest now is seeing all my kids and my wife with big smiles on their faces." Stewart first had a child as a teenager with his art school girlfriend, who was later adopted. The pair were only properly reunited decades later when daughter Sarah Streeter was 46. Stewart remarked on The Joy Behar Show in 2010, "...she was put up for adoption when I was 17 or 18, I think. I was absolutely stone broke." Although Streeter reportedly found out her famous dad's identity at age 18, they started to have a real relationship later in life after her adoptive mom died. Streeter told ABC News, "...now that I'm getting to know him more, I think I understand what went on. Rod has actually come into my life in a big way since mother's gone." And I don't think that's a coincidence. Now we're at the start of a new chapter, and that's wonderful." Kim Zolciak Bierman loves to point out how much her daughter, Brielle Bierman, looks like her, thanks to the atypical age difference between the pair. The Real Housewives of Atlanta alum was only 18 when she had her eldest daughter, who has since been adopted by stepdad Croy Bierman, according to E! News. Kim joked on Instagram in 2016, "...man, if you guys only knew how scared I was when I found out I was pregnant with her. She's one of the best things that ever happened to me. I also will never forget how supportive my parents were when I told them I was pregnant." In another post, the reality star reflected on how much her life was altered by being a teen mother. While she noted that she wouldn't trade it for anything, she admitted that she still dealt with stress and anxiety about her children's welfare, revealing that she was sometimes unable to sleep from worrying about her kids. She said, "...it's like I have my heartbeat beating outside my body, but it's God's greatest gift. And I have never, not for one second, taken that gift for granted." Suzanne Somers is best known for playing Chrissy Snow on the classic sitcom 3's Company. Is he gone? Yeah, everything's all right. No, it isn't. What do you mean? You ate all my cake! However, before her acting career took off, she was a teenage mother. According to Us Weekly, the actor's marriage to Bruce Summers only lasted three years, in contrast to her long-lasting relationship with Canadian entertainer Alan Hamill. But that first marriage still gave Summers her only son, Bruce Jr. Recalling how she made a vow in the delivery room to give her new baby a good life, she wrote on Facebook in 2018, "...I gave birth to Bruce one month after my 19th birthday. He emerged from my body looking nervous, and in the delivery room, my first words to him were, "...I promise I will make a good life for you. I worry being still a teenager that I didn't have the skills. I have spent my adult life trying my best to live up to that promise." The actor described her son as everything a man should be, calling him a great husband, great father, profoundly successful and innovative, and liked by everyone. She continued, "...when I look at the fine person he has become, I feel fulfilled as a person, as a mother, to have given life to one of the finest people I have ever had the privilege of knowing." American rock musician Ted Nugent was a teenager when he and his girlfriend put up two kids for adoption. He explained to The New Yorker, "...we were very young and we were in love slash lust. More love than lust, but plenty of lust. And oh boy, there's just a tsunami of adventure cravings at that age." 
They gave the babies to Catholic charities, and they were both adopted. His first son, Ted Mann, was born in 1968. He didn't meet the singer until well into adulthood. After his younger sister, Louisa Savarisi, tracked their dad down, Ted told the New York Daily News in 2011 how his father had invited him out to his Texas ranch, saying, "...his first words to me were, "'Hello, son.'" Within an hour of knowing him, he said, "'Let's go shoot some guns.'" Mann, who had become a New York restaurateur, was initially stunned by the revelation that his father was a celebrity and admitted that it was hard not to, quote, "...just sit in my house staring at YouTube videos of him running around like a crazy person." He also invited Nugent to his restaurant in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and showed him around the city. Mann added, "...I've had a smile on my face for the past half a year. It's just been cool. He's kind of pumped up, too." Bindi Irwin touched a lot of hearts when she named her first child in honor of her late father, the crocodile hunter Steve Irwin. <sighs> All right, what are we, where, how do you, what are you doing with the head? I'm, I'm trying to get the head in there. You are so unprofessional, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Sharing a picture of her newborn baby, Grace Warrior Irwin Powell on Instagram in 2021, she wrote, Our graceful warrior is the most beautiful light. Grace is named after my great-grandmother. Grace's middle names, Warrior Irwin, are a tribute to my dad and his legacy as the most incredible wildlife warrior. Reflecting on the fact that little Grace was coincidentally born on the first anniversary of her and her husband's wedding, Bindi added, "...there are no words to describe the infinite amount of love in our hearts for our sweet baby girl. She chose the perfect day to be born, and we feel tremendously blessed." Her mother, Terry Irwin, tweeted that Steve would have been overjoyed to welcome his granddaughter to the world. She went on to add, "...Grace is the next generation to continue his mission and message of conservation. She chose her parents wisely, and it seems like she's already inherited her late grandfather's love of animals." As the Daily Telegraph reported one year later, baby Grace spent most of her time crawling around with a giant tortoise named Igloo, whom she had befriended. Bindi assured E.T., Steve Irwin would have been a good, good grandpa. I don't think we would have ever seen our daughter. He would have just whisked her away into the zoo and it would have been perfect. As a writer who thought it was important to tell young people the truth, Maya Angelou was open about her experiences as a teenage mother. She recalled in a 2001 essay entitled The Decision That Changed My Life, Keeping My Baby, when I was 16, a boy in high school evinced interest in me, so I had sex with him, just once. Soon after, she discovered that she was pregnant. She continued, I went to the boy and asked him for help, but he said it wasn't his baby and he didn't want any part of it. Although she was terrified, Angelou couldn't cope with the thought of getting an abortion, so she hid the pregnancy for months instead. Three weeks before her due date, her mother found out. Her mother reportedly asked, "'Do you love the boy?' When the teenager replied no, she declared, "'Then there's no point in ruining three lives. We are going to have our baby.'" Angelou added that her mother never made her feel ashamed about her decision. Speaking about the love she immediately felt for her son after he was born, she said, "'Guy was a delight from the start. So good, so bright, and I can't imagine my life without him.'" Angelou went on to add that they struggled in the early years when she was working as a 17-year-old cook and waitress. She said, "'We lived hand-to-mouth, but it was really heart-to-hand. Having my son brought out the best in me and enlarged my life." When she later discovered that she couldn't conceive anymore, Angelou declared that her teenage pregnancy had been a miracle. Tom Jones cemented his apparent reputation as a womanizer when he publicly acknowledged his love child, Jonathan, for the first time in 2008, nearly two decades after having an affair with model Katherine Berkeley. He told Wales Online, "...it wasn't something I had planned. It turns out that the star's first child was equally unplanned." Jones married his girlfriend, Linda, at 17 after she got pregnant with their first son, Mark. Jones later reflected to The Independent, recalling how much his life changed when he became a teen father. "...It gave me more drive, because when you have a wife and child, you become a man very quickly. I was about to turn 17, and she was just 16 when Mark was born. And all of a sudden, it was like I was a foot taller straight away. It's a strange thing." Despite their slightly rushed wedding and his admitted infidelity, the singer stayed with Linda for 59 years. After she died in 2016, he said of her, "...all of those things she lived through with me. She knew what I was trying to do, and she was 100% behind me. She said, "...whatever I've got to do to help you get to where you want to go, or where we want to go, I will do it. We will do it." Before she became a singer-songwriter, Patti Smith got pregnant at age 19 and put the baby up for adoption. She recalled in her 2010 book, Just Kids, "...I was raised at a time when sex and marriage were absolutely synonymous. There was no available birth control, and at 19, I was still naive about sex." Smith decided not to involve the baby's 17-year-old father, who she described as, quote, "...a boy even more callow than I." 
Observing that her options were limited as a young woman in 1966, she wrote, I knew there was nothing he could do. I also knew I was incapable of tending to an infant. I had sought the assistance of a benevolent professor who had found an educated couple longing for a child. Smith made up her mind to maintain her health and strength for the baby, leave teaching college, and pursue her dreams as an artist in New York City. Although she achieved fame and fortune, the horse's musician, who later welcomed two children with her late husband Fred Smith, still thinks of the child she put up for adoption. According to an interview with the Australian Women's Weekly in 2019, Patty has prayed for them every day since their birth. Naomi Judd's teen pregnancy led to one of the most famous mother-daughter teams in music history when the singer gave birth to Winona Judd at age 17, only two weeks before her high school graduation. Ashley Judd wrote for USA Today, following the death of her and Winona's mother in 2022, "'My mama was an extraordinary parent under duress, but motherhood happened to her without her consent.'" The actor added that her mother shouldn't have had to handle that burden by herself. She said, "'She experienced an unintended pregnancy at age 17, and that led her down a road familiar to so many adolescent mothers, including poverty and gender-based violence.'" For her part, it was decades before Winona learned her real dad's identity since she was raised believing that she and her younger sister Ashley shared the same father. Winona explained on Radio Andy, I was 30 years old and I found out, you know, part of my life that I thought this man who was my biological father is not, and it's Ashley's father. You know what? I had a choice. I had to decide whether I was better or bitter. Sadly, the younger Judd singer didn't manage to meet her biological dad before his death. However, she did discover her half-brother Michael for the first time in 2020. Winona wrote of her father on Twitter in 2016, I pray he'll greet me in heaven. If you or someone you know needs help with mental health, please contact the Crisis Text Line by texting HOME to 741-741. Call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI, that's 1-800-950-6264, or visit the National Institute of Mental Health website. 